Hi guys, it's Patricia from Your Any Cat Crochet. Um, uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to do a short video because, I mean, you never know. <laughs> I say that and then uh, it ends up being long anymore. But they used to be short, but I guess I got more to talk about. Sorry about my hair. Okay, so I look a hot mess, but I feel a lot better for those of y'all that are keeping track. Um, uh, we're trying to move on and have a happy channel, spread the joy, not the sadness, although it was great to have y'all there um, for me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try and block the glare. That's why that thing's on there for any of y'all that are new. It's, um, sorry, sorry. Just all kinds of mess up. Um, well, that's a little bit better anyway. <laughs> Um, there's a glare on the TV from the light up above and I don't have as much equipment as some people and um, so you get what you get <laughs> okay a couple of things first I'm going to read from my Better Together quotes book is it puppy and kitty so huge um, oh the photography in this book I didn't mention last time was by Warren Photographic and I think it's okay that I just share a picture and a quote each video. Um, I'm sure I'll hear about it. And uh, <laughs> if I don't, I, I actually got Yoda's um, tribute video copyrighted by whoever it was, the music. See, so what happened was <laughs> my tablet made a video and then I just added pictures to it. Um, I don't know how my tablet knew it was gonna, it was supposed to be a memorial video, but it said memorial. I, I swear technology is magic. <laughs> but anyway, so there was a song, they just, the tablet just put the song to it. I didn't pick out the song. It, I didn't even try. It was just a folder and it said Yoda and it had memorial music on it. So one of y'all that are tech smart will tell me. <laughs> but anyway so when I went to put I added more pictures to the folder and I put it up as a memorial for Yoda who if you don't know was our cat and he passed away last week and um, anyway the song got copyrighted claimed which I just assumed the songs on the tablet were like the songs on YouTube and the songs on the, the um, Instagram shorts I thought it was just for everybody to use, but apparently not. But anyway, they didn't take my video down or give me uh, a strike or whatever you call it. But they did put their information there, which is cool. I mean, that's really sweet music. I don't care if everybody knows that they're the ones that made that song. And um, if they did have shot me an email, I'd have put it up there myself. But I guess somewhere in the... YouTube verse somebody did their thing but anyway they're not asking me to take it down I'm not going to take it down until I'm asked and because um, you know a lot of people said some really nice things and I like to go back and read them it's helping me heal so until they tell me to take it down I'm leaving it up there but anyway long story short <laughs> I'm sure you guys didn't want to know all that information but um, so this book has pictures of animals that really wouldn't normally be friends together but they are together in the pictures so I guess they're good with each other and then it has famous quotes this one is um, puppies bunnies guinea pigs and kittens <laughs> everybody go aww anyway and the quote is from Samuel Johnson which I'm not sure how, who that is. I'll have to look it up. But um, uh, it says, A man, sir, should keep his friendships in constant repair. That means you go and you... Um, it's a very wise statement. It means you go and you um, check on your friends. If you haven't seen them in a while... I hadn't seen this one YouTuber in a really long while. Come to find out, she was... Um, uh, she went to work. She hadn't before, I guess, and then she, now she is. 
and so that's why she hadn't been posting because she's been so busy but um if i hadn't have texted her i never would have known and she was so nice to reply back because that's kind of private information but um I really cared about her, so I asked. I mean, don't hurt. Squeaky wheel gets oiled, right? She texted back, and she's doing fine. <laughs> but, um, or if you've, if you didn't, if you haven't heard somebody from a while, and you want to find out if you said something to offend them. I mean, you might have. I mean, it's real easy, especially on the internet. <laughs> Everybody's offended. <laughs> I've probably offended a few thousand people, and I don't even know. As a matter of fact, one of my Harley's porch sitting videos where she just sitting out there, five or six people put the thumbs down. I'm like, it is literally just her sitting there looking out at everywhere for 16 seconds. It probably took them about that long to watch the video and hit the thumbs down. <laughs> Some people just gotta let you know they're upset. Well, we're going to try and do the joyous stuff on this channel and um, let the haters hate over there in the corner. <laughs> let them be them, we'll be us. <laughs> but anyway, a man, sir, should keep his friendships in constant repair. Now, that's pretty wise. I'm going to look up this Samuel Johnson. He's probably somebody very noteworthy since it's in this book. So I'll learn some history because I love to do that. Okay. So let me check really quick. My son keeps texting me. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so anyway, very cute book. I'm going to read one quote. Try to till we get it finished. Um, there's several in there. I've already read ahead on one was Lincoln, but I'm going to try not to read them until we're all together. So we'll all do it together. So... I got some happy mail today. If you were all in Angie's Live, I shouted it on there. <laughs> okay, so if you watched the video about these, I was confused about what yarn it was and everything because it'd been so long ago. We'll turn to find out it was because I was not the one who made it. Um, I come up with the design, but my mom, and I think I told everybody this in a previous video, my mom uh, found out that I was making the hot pink ones and she decided to make me some in this awesome fiery color. It's just, I'll tell y'all the color and the specs in just a second, but isn't it nice? She did a wonderful job. She said, don't get on there and, oh, sorry guys, my face mask from when I sleep just tears my face up. But anyway, she goes, don't get on there and tell everybody, you don't have to do that. And I'm like, yes I do, this is your work and it's beautiful. If you, you're doing any content you want to be as truthful as possible you don't want people not to believe you and um so that was just a memory fog of I, i'd had it for a long time this has been like a couple of years but anyway so that was a long time ago it was karen simply soft and you know they just change their patterns and uh, on their yarn and stuff and then they'll just discontinue that yarn and we'll never see it again even though everybody loves it it makes no sense to me you kind of like i'm sure eventually they'll come up with another one that'll be exactly the same with a different name but anyway i'm not saying karen simply soft does that i'm just saying i've seen other yarns that have went away and then a new yarn comes out and you're like wait a minute i saw that five years ago okay so the yarn is Karen Simply Soft Sunset Autumn. And it just has all the yummy colors. It has like a mustardy yellow, a rusty orange, um, a black, a cream color. Perfect for fall. That's why it's called sun Sunset Autumn. It looks just like candy corn or pumpkin picking in a pumpkin patch. And it's so squishy. And it, um, oh, it has a pattern on there for a beanie. I love beanies. And um, it's, uh, oh, Yarn Spirations, I guess, puts out Karen, or maybe it just added a pattern to the label. I don't know. I'm not real up on all that stuff. But um, it, uh, it's Simply Soft Paints was the brand. Um, and it has, uh, drum roll please, five ounces in it. It doesn't look like it, but it really, it goes a far way. 
As a matter of fact, I'll probably be able, oh, by the way, she got this for me. She tracked it down to be able for me to, cause I lost the other one. My mother is awesome. <laughs> She'll just go out of her way just to make you happy. And um, she really loves her children and we don't deserve her. <laughs> Just putting it out there, and y'all know I'll ball, so don't make me cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Um, but she makes me cry a lot, but not because she's me, because <laughs> of the things she does. But anyways, 5 ounces, 141 grams, 100% acrylic, medium four weight. But I want to say that I think that it's a light four or a heavy three. That's the way it feels when it's, and it's so soft that it's kind of hard to hold on to. But, um, but I mean, if you want a really soft, nice project, then you're just going to have to deal with the holding on to it. <laughs> but anyway, so Sunset Autumn, uh, 235 yards, I think I said, um, 215 meters, 100, 5 ounces or 141 grams. So you guys can do your math in your head for what it would be across the pond they do grams and um, meters so 141 grams 215 meters in america five ounces 235 yards so so nice i'll probably get a beanie and the other glove so i won't be mismatched <laughs> and see how slinky it is it's just a very slinky material i love karen simply soft um if I ever see any on sale, I'm going to grab some more up. But you can't find this one. And the person who had the last seven, I mean, there may be more. You know how it is. It's like coins. This coin is so rare, but then they found a stash buried in somebody's backyard out of a mason jar. And then the coin loses its value. So there may be some people out there holding on to theirs. <laughs> but this person had seven and overcharged my mother. Shame on you. You know who you are. But anyway, um, so uh, always go looking on Etsy, Amazon, um, eBay, because if you can't find it in the stores, they've discontinued it. Chances are somewhere somebody's got a load of it, and they're making some money. <laughs> okay, even if I did know their names, I wouldn't uh, say because... Um, I just not that kind of person but they'll have to deal with it eventually <laughs> anyway the next thing I did oh y'all see my shirt it says y'all need Jesus I think it's funny because people in the south when they um, when somebody's just goofing around and being uh, unruly or um, saying something inappropriate they'll say y'all aren't right or y'all need Jesus so but I think they need to take and put a black line through it like that and put, we all need Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, that's my shirt. It's gray and it, it's, it's supposed to look like that distressed and I get to walk around with Jesus written on me. <laughs> and it's so soft and, you know, just really, really nice. I can't remember if my mama bought me this or I bought it. She'll tell me later. <laughs> she watches my videos. Hi, mama. Okay, so this hat, I'm going to unfold the brim. It's, uh, it's, it's fairly long, but I did that on purpose because my dad likes to fold his up really good. But what I did was, is I crocheted it like this into a very long rectangle. And I went into the third loop and um, every other row. And so it kind of, I mean, it doesn't exactly, I mean, crocheters and knitters, they they both know this isn't knit, but somebody might mistake it for knit because it kind of looks like it there. But, um, yeah. So, it was very simple. I started it, I want to say yesterday. I might have started the day before and only did a couple rows. But, it, if you put all the time together, it probably took me a straight hour. I mean, come on. You got that while you're sitting there watching your favorite program. Um, and I watched quite a few of them so I love history hit uh off of um I watch the ones on YouTube 
but that you could get a subscription and watch all their history hit TV. I just love um, archaeological digs and stuff like that. Uh, sunken ships. There's a lot in Lake Michigan, and it's really cool. I lived in Michigan for a while, so I really like Lake Michigan history, you know. But anyway, so I did that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I think I um, casted, well, it's not casting on. For you that crochet, which I do, I'm a crocheter, not a knitter. But um, I do knit. I just am not great at it. But um, casting on in knitting is the same as chaining in crochet. You don't do it the same, but it's kind of the same uh, concept. So I believe it was 35. It might have been 45. <laughs> if I do another one, I'll make sure to write the specs down. And um, I might just do a video on that ski slope beanie. Um, I'm not good at writing the, uh, the pattern, but I'm gonna try. I don't wanna give up just yet. <laughs> I just want it to be understandable because Sam is going to, for Manfa's Make, she said she would be a pattern tester for me. And I would like to give her a pattern to test. <laughs> um, but uh, if I don't, I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on it. It's so simple, it's stupid. I mean, it's very simple stitches. I know it sounds intimidating, but it crochet is very low maintenance. Um, to me, knitting is intimidating, but the knitters are like, you know, so it's all out of your own perspective. But um, so anyway, so it's that long and then you fold it up and I'm going to put it on. But trust me, guys, I look terrible in hats. Um, I will wear one if it's really cold. I'm not stupid, but I avoid them when all possible. I might wear one in the zoo tomorrow because it's only going to be in the 60s here in southern Indiana, but it's in Louisville, Kentucky. But I mean, we're just like 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most away, depending on the traffic. You know, we have to cross the bridge. But anyway, <laughs> there's the whole Ohio River. But, um, oh shoot, yeah, I got to pay my bridge tolls. <laughs> I have bridge tolls. Um, normally I have a 20 on the account and they just keep taking it out. Well, I ran out and then they charged me the full price for crossing. So now I got to get on their mobile pay so they won't get me when I try to cross it again. <laughs> but anyway, I never have that problem because I usually always have the money on it. So when we go to the zoo tomorrow, which is so cool, I'm going to take some pictures. I might post them on my Instagram if you guys want to see. I haven't been because it's too hot for me. Um. I have a couple different conditions and um, uh, just being out in the sun just doesn't help me. So um, we waited till it was cool. <laughs> and it's uh, so cool this weekend. It's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited. But anyway, the hat. <laughs> I made this for my dad. That's why it's so oversized. I mean, look, you guys. <laughs> I look like that kid from Fat Albert when I pull it all the way down, except for there's no eye holes. And y'all young kids, just ignore me because you've probably never seen Fat Albert. But everybody who's ever watched the Fat Al Albert cartoon will get the reference. But anyway, so, see, it, it has a lot of brim if I was going to wear it, but my dad's, you know, a little bit bigger head, so he'll probably fold it to right there. But um, you could wear it just like this, too. You know, you could do it however you want. You could put a flower on the side, make it, a, you know, a more feminine look. Um, there's not really a difference anymore. Um, if a guy likes flowers, you, the guy could put flowers on the side. Um, crochet a pair of cowboy boots, you know, flat ones, make it a Western style. I mean, you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, put a deer on the side for hunting. Oh, Everybody out there that hunts, I know I got friends that are vegan, they don't hunt, please. I do not mean to offend anybody. But around here we have people that hunt. So just close your ears for a second. Um, I'll wave so you'll know it's okay to listen again. <laughs> but anyway, um, a lot of people hunt around here. Oh, let me take this off, I look ridiculous. Not because the hat's ridiculous, just because I don't look good in hats. Uh, so I got this, you guys will see it because I'm gonna do an unboxing. But it's this reflective um, yellow 
yarn high yellow like highlighter yellow and it's got reflective strips in it when you crochet it up it reflects like if light hits it or whatever but it's really bright yellow so if you're out in the middle of the woods or you're just walking you may be a jogger walking down the middle of the road um or not the middle but you know where cars can hit you and um you better not be in the middle of the road <laughs> but anyway um so it'll be really cool a uh, hunting hat I may knit it, I don't know, but it's acrylic and it's a really bright. When I get it, I'll show it to you guys. I also got some black that have some metallic, but that would be more just for, um, you know, just wearing because you wouldn't want to wear black or dark clothes in the middle of the woods during hunting season. That's a good way to get shot. So we don't want to, you know, <laughs> we don't want to go there. But anyway, okay guys, if you were holding your ears so you didn't hear the the um, the talk we was having, then you can open them again. Open your ears. <laughs> um, so anyway, so I made the hat. Um, let me see, I know I'm working on something else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make the other, I haven't started yet, but I will make the other wrist warmer. By the way, me and my mom talked about it. It's, um, this is knit. You cast on 35. You can make it longer or shorter because it's for your arm. Now I've got a pretty beefy arm because I'm a heavier set woman. So, you know, it's gonna come different to people who are skinnier. It's, it's gonna be probably longer. But anyway, you wanna end it where, you know, you need it. This is very adjustable. So it's 35 and it was, um, and. It, 35 to cast on and 48 uh, garter stitch rows, which garter stitch is you just knit on both sides. Is you knit, turn it, knit, turn it. Um, if you don't know the basic knitting skills, you'll have to look up a tutorial because I may do it on TV for you, I mean, YouTube for you. I mean, I may show you as I'm working on one but I'm not the person to teach you. <laughs> but it's 35 cast on, 48 knit. And then you just sew up the sides. Um, she may have did it with a needle, she'll tell me. I tend to um, single crochet, not really single, slip stitch the two edges together. I just slip stitch on the inside and then flip it inside out. But uh, for me, um, after we slip stitch up the side, well, not after, first you have to do this part. We did, we counted down five, because for me, this is where I want it to hit on my hand. So, it's, in order for it to do that, then we had to stitch up five, five stitches. And then, uh, this is, I believe, was ten. We didn't stitch up ten stitches to make where your thumb could go through like that. And I think I might make um, a single crochet thumb up till this point. I haven't decided yet. I don't want to mess it up. Um, but I would like for my knuckle to be covered on the next one. I don't know if I'll do it on this set or just leave this set the way they are. Wear these for here. I don't know because they're so pretty. I mean, it was perfect for pumpkin picking and bonfires, campfires. Um, it's just awesome. It looks like flame to me. It's like, flame. <laughs> it's so cool. So anyway, y'all have to excuse me. I'm a big child, but, you know, if you live your life as an adult all the time, it's going to be a sad life. Sometimes you just have to cut up and have fun, and I like to do that with my channel. Okay, so another thing I'm working on. Oh, look, we're already 24 minutes in. I told you. <laughs> So, okay, so I already had this, just this, um, it's called Just Cotton from Premier. And if you can't tell, it's orange and black and orange. It might look a little red, but it's not, it's orange. And, um, let me see, I started working it up here. It's just the back side of it. I'm making a trick-or-treat bag. <laughs> 
it's not going to be super huge because I'm probably probably not going to give it to anybody. I'll probably use it for like, um, you know, just a project bag or something. But it's going to be a trick or treat bag. It's going to have the handles, and um, this is the front. And oh, by the way, I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. <laughs> It's a little splitty. I mean, cotton tends to be, uh, not all cotton, like 24-7 cotton. I've not had trouble with it splitting, but this splits. But you just have to be more diligent. You just have to pay attention to what's going on. But isn't it cool? It looks very Halloween. Now, I don't necessarily celebrate Halloween per se as far as the... Um, We'll just call it um, the uh, spiritual aspect that some people go to the extent of doing. No offense to those people. I just don't. Um, I'm a Christian, so we tend to shy away from that. But um, no judgment. I'm just explaining. Um, I, uh, um, we dress up for the kids that are coming to get candy because I do I know they don't do it in every country but over here we like to give our kids free candy <laughs> and I don't want the kids to miss out there's not a lot of people there's a more elderly people on my street on my end of it and um, they don't give out candy they don't participate in it probably because their budgets are really um, strapped you know uh, so, I mean, just for whatever their reasons are, they don't. So, we like to do it. And we don't dress up scary. I think I might uh, wear a black t-shirt and some a he headband that has kitty cat ears on it or something. Maybe put a couple streaks of paint um, for whiskers. You know, I might do that. If I do, I'll take a picture. <laughs> but, um, you know, my son's dressing up as one of his... He's 24, but he loves to give candy to the kids and uh, he's all about well his birthday's in October so you know goes hand in hand we go pumpkin picking and we do the um the giving away the candy all um as a celebration of his birthday in October so anyway um so he's gonna dress up as a character from one of his video games and my husband's gonna be Willy Wonka <laughs> the 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 um Oh, what's his name? The Johnny Depp version, not the Gene Wilder version. Although, I like the Gene Wilder version better. But, it's his time to have fun so he can dress up what he wants. But, we like to do that as a family. And, we decorate our yard. And, we don't do anything that's scary or what we would deem inappropriate. Because, we, you know, there's young children that come up in our yard. And, we want it to be fun not scary and since they're going to be out that night doing that stuff anyway then I feel like us providing a safe place for them to trick-or-treat is a service to our community and um, we've already got like four or five bags of candy like like duh. Uh, we got uh, all the chocolate candy bars we like to give the good stuff and um, so we get it on sale because we can't afford it <laughs> but we 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 got a good good sale it was buy one get one half off so it was a pretty good sale and the prices they were already on sale so it made it really cheap because uh, i like to shop cheap i'm a thrifty shopper and uh, we got sour patch kids mix so there's different kinds swedish fishes um uh the sour patch kids but anyway they're all sour every single one is sour and so we got a couple bags of those just mixed up and all the chocolate bars <laughs> and so um yeah so the kids will have a safe place to come up and we give them huge handfuls because like i said before we are on the end uh we're not really on the end the road keeps continuing and but our little section of it uh before you get to the farms and stuff because if you keep going there's like farm area um our little section of it uh, the people don't give out the candy and so we would have a ton of candy left so when the kids come and, and we're getting more and more because they're starting to catch on <laughs> but um, we've been here for 14 years so uh, 
they're getting our number. But anyway, um, we give them big handfuls. We don't just give them like one or two pieces. We just, throughout the night, we just load handfuls out. And um, that way we don't have a ton left over. I'm diabetic. My son's trying to watch his weight. So um, my husband will eat some, but you know, he's not a huge candy eater. He likes Reese's. I like Reese's. But I'm diabetic, so I have to stay away from that. I have one or two pieces. I regret it the next day, but, you know, it's a holiday. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, long story short, uh, we're getting ready for Halloween. So, this is going to be the back. I mean, the front. This is going to be the back. It's got all that. And it may, may be a flap. I don't know if I'm going to make a flap. Seta at Seta's place did a really cool uh, crossbody bag. Got a long strap and it, it looked like a recorder from, um, oh, Star Trek. Uh, you know, the lady, she had a, a tricorder bag that held the tricorder in it, if you guys know anything about uh, Star Trek. And um, so Seta made one, I really liked it. So this is gonna be kind of like on the version of that, but mostly, I think I'm just gonna have a bag with handles. But if I decide to make a flap, I'll make a flap on it. But, so it's gonna be front and back, these colors. So it'll be my, what I made for fall, you know, besides all the other rust things I make all year long that are fall looking, but uh, I don't care because I love fall and I'm gonna celebrate fall all year long. <laughs> Those are my colors, but anyway. And I like hot pink. <laughs> Different variations. I also like coral. Um, I don't wear a whole lot of like the corals or any of the pastel y pinks, but um, I do uh, like hot pink. I'll wear that. But anyway, um, so uh, I showed you the wrist warmers. I showed you the hats. I told you how I was doing. I think that's it for this video. Wow, and it's 32 minutes long okay this is the part if you don't like readings from scriptures this is the part where i read and please disregard where it says promises from god for women because <laughs> the promises from god in the bible are for everybody but so if you guys don't believe in that there's no judgment here um but if you want to click out now if you stayed this long and listened to me talk you may go and spread your joy and um, meet me back here for the next video. Uh, if you haven't already and you liked what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate it. I, oh, by the way, I have like one, I forget, I think it's like one, here, I'll check on here for you um, to tell you how many I'm at. Oh, goodness. Of course it would mess up while I'm trying to do something important. Um, I'm at 126. I'm glad I didn't say 140. I don't know why I got that in my head. I'm at 126 subscribers, um, which is really cool. I've been on here for, I think, almost a month. And, um, and oh, so we're already qualified for doing a giveaway. So, um, I just probably give me this weekend to get, go through my yarn to get what I want to give. I got three brand new, uh, things I bought at Michael's last week, and um, and then I'm gonna have yarn that I've already had, but don't worry. I have all my yarn in um, Ziploc bags and to keep dust, uh, um, spiders, cause yeah, they like to crawl into things and whoosh. And, um, and we have, if you can't hear her, just, just trying to get my attention. We have Harley, who uh, is a dog, and um, so we, we do have a pet home. I keep, once my yarn comes home, it comes out of the bag that I bought it in, and it goes into a Ziploc bag, but I can't guarantee that anybody who is super allergic to dogs or cats uh, might not have a reaction to it, but it's kept in bags the whole time I have it, so um, unless it's going to be something that's just for me, and then I don't have a strict, because, you know, there's... You know, she's my dog, so I hug her. So I probably have one or two hairs. I always change clothes before I start crocheting. Um, so I'll usually do it after my shower. I'll just put on fresh clothes and then I'll crochet. So 
but lessons anyway of, you know. But anyway, so uh, just so you know, the giveaway will be as relatively hair-free as possible. <laughs> Unless it's wool, and, and, and also I'll have a, um, a option for people who do not want wool. So if there's wool in it, then I will replace it with something else. It'll be mystery what you get, but I will replace it. So let me know if, if you win um, that you do not want wool, which I know some of my friends do not do wool, you know. So that's cool with me. It's cool. Um, but anyway, so all y'all that don't want to hear the scripture, please feel free to click out. I'll see you guys next time. Um, love you guys. Okay, so for everybody who stayed... I'm getting the one out of the front. We're taking them out of the front, putting them in the back. Oh, by the way, I said God's promises are for everybody, not just women. I don't, I don't know why it put four women, but I have like half of my subscribers are men, and I'm so excited. I'm so glad that um, people are rising above labeling whether you, if you're a woman, you have to do this thing. If you're a man, you have to like these sports. I love basketball. I'm a woman. <laughs> But anyway, um, not to get too far into that, I don't want to get all political and stuff, but, um, so just know that I love all of my subscribers, men or women, it doesn't matter, you are welcome here. Okay, and I'm very, very excited that I do have both. Okay, so this, these cards, they have, if you don't know already, they have a nice thing and then they have, uh, the scripture on the back. I believe they're, um... New International. I, I haven't checked yet. I gotta get into the thing. I, I read King James Version. But some people like New International. It, as long as you're reading it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so the little saying on here says, The sh sun shines brighter and the flowers smell better just because I thought of you. <laughs> and I do have friends that when I think of, I just smile. And um, I smile when I think about all my subscribers because... They just treat me so extra special. <laughs> and um, even if they didn't, I love everybody because Jesus loves everybody. So, but anyway, that's so awesome. The sun, sun sorry, it's like Sally sells seashells. The sun shines brighter and the flowers smell better just because I thought of you. That's so nice to say to somebody. Think about saying that to somebody sometime this week. Okay, and so the scripture says, the Lord bless you and keep you. Numbers 624. I think there's a, um, a Jewish uh, prayer, Hebrew prayer, that says, uh, May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May his face shine upon thee. Um, may he put his countenance, countenance, shine his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. I don't know. It. It's really good. I've heard it a, a few times, and um, more than a few, <laughs> and I really like that one. Maybe I'll look that one up for you guys, but um, that's a really good scripture. But so the Lord bless you and keep you, number 624. So I liked, my mom got me these. I'm going to put it in the back so we don't, I mean, I don't know if they repeat, but we'll we'll see. My mom got the, me these so I could read on my channel. It was a very great idea. Thank you, Mama. I'm going to keep doing it. And those of y'all that just didn't want to listen, hopefully you clicked out because I'm not about to offend anybody. I love everybody. I don't care what religion, race, color, creed you are. Um, I love you. I hope that you love coming to see my channels. If you guys get a chance today, go out and spread your joy. Um, uh, if you're staying home and in, you spread your joy by answering or, question, you know, giving uh, uplifting comments. Um, that you can spread your joy that way or call somebody up on the phone. Um, I'm mostly inbound um, unless my husband's available or my son to take me to do things. Um, so I know I know how that is. Sometimes I go out my front porch and people are walking by and I say hi and smile because if you only just have a second to impact somebody's life, they could be really depressed and um, and, and walk past you and think nobody cares. And you give them the biggest smile that you've ever given anybody. And you change their world. And you don't know it, but those things happen. So don't think you can't 
do some good in this world because you can. <laughs> and there I go. What do y'all cry at the drop of a hat? It's not, it's not fake. It's real emotion because I really feel that way. Um, I'm just a really empathetic person. If you're sad, I'm sad usually. <laughs> but anyway, spread your joy, spread some love, whatever you do. Don't go out and spread hate. We don't need any more. The world's full of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, you have a really, really good day and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.